So if you're using the Autonami plugin as your CRM for WordPress and you're going out and you're having your opt-in form subscribe people into Autonami and you're using a double opt-in method where people fill in your opt-in forms, you send them an email and they need to click a link in that email to then confirm their subscription into Autonami, you want to watch this video. But this video today carries on from this video that I uploaded yesterday. So in yesterday's video, I show you how to go out and inside the Autonami plugin, build an opt-in form and then set up a double opt-in automation. But at the end of that video, I outlined where there's a possibility for people not to be resubscribed if they try and sign up to your mailing list a second or a third time in the future. And in this video today, I'm going to show you how to fix that. And we're going to get into that fix right now. So we're going to go into our WP admin menu area and then under appearance, we want to go to theme file editor. And then we're going to edit our functions.php file for our child theme. And then right at the bottom of this file, you want to paste in this code here. So I've wrote a blog post that goes through how to fix this problem. And in that blog post, you can copy and paste the PHP code from there. So I'm going to leave a link to that blog post in the description below under this video. But once you paste that into there, you want to click save. Now, if we just break it down, you can sort of understand what it's going to do. So it's a PHP, it's a filter, and it allows link triggers to fire multiple times. Because if you watched yesterday's video, you see the problem there where the link trigger actions aren't firing a second or a third time. And that is because if we go to Autonami and then we go to link triggers and then we edit our link trigger and we go up to edit, it says above actions will only run once per contact. So again, this is all in yesterday's video. We're not going to dwell on it too much. But what I'm going to do now is show you that after editing that PHP code where it allows link triggers to fire multiple times, this is irrelevant now because now the above actions can fire many times, multi times. So let's go through what we've just done and how we fix that problem. So I'm going to go ahead and under Autonami contacts, we're just going to delete my contact from yesterday. And we're going to go through the entire process. And I'm going to show you how now that PHP code, we can subscribe and resubscribe any contact in the future, all because of that single PHP code that we just added. So now let's go back and we're going to go to WooFunnels and we'll go to funnels. And then it was this form we were editing yesterday. So here it is. And now let's go through the processes. So subscribe now, put in my name and email, and then I'll click sign up. So please check your inbox for the link. And this is that email that we set up yesterday. So it says by clicking the above link, you agree to be subscribed to our mailing list. And this button here, this is actually the link trigger. So this URL is this link trigger here. So when we click that link, it should take us to this page here and then set our status to subscribed in Autonami. So if we go to our contacts and then here I am. And if we click into me, you can see I'm unverified. And then if we go back here and click this link trigger, I land back here. I've double opted in. So I've confirmed that I want to be subscribe to the list. So if we go back here to Autonami and refresh the page, I should go from unverified to subscribed. Now let's just say I want to unsubscribe. I don't really want to get these emails right now. So I unsubscribe. And then six months later, I want to come back and you know what? I want to get these emails again. I go back to this page here and it says, click the button below to join the mailing list. So I click this, I sign up again and we're unsubscribed here. So if we refresh here, I stay as unsubscribed. But if I go to this second email where I can click to confirm my subscription for the second time. So I am resubscribing. If I click this button now, I go back here. And then if we go back to my contact and refresh the page, we go from unsubscribed to subscribed. So I'm going to make this video short and sweet and to the point. That is how you fix this problem that I outlined in yesterday's video. It is a really important one. Again, I cover that because people that are trying to resubscribe, they're your hot leads because they've tried to walk away from your content and they want it a second or a third time. So you want to make sure that you are watching yesterday's video and today's video, because if you don't add that PHP code, people will not be able to resubscribe if you are setting up double opt-ins using Autonami and link triggers. So let me know in the comments below what you think of this video. I'll link to yesterday's video. It's this one over here and I'll see you guys in that video.